Okay, so I've started um, Godot 3. Yeah, it's like day one of actual Godot 3 starting. And I'm doing moo, doing a couple of things. I'm doing the first one, the scripting exercise. So if you need help, I'll put a link as usual, of course. Uh, and the other thing I'm doing is I looked up some, I wanted to make it a little different. So I looked at how to change text. Here we go. Like, that's how to change text. Copy or to, I'll just read it really quick. Copy or TTF into your old project file. You'll see Godot import. It has a dynamic font data in the file browser. Three, in the inspector, click on the new resource icon and create a new dynamic font. In the font category, click on font data and choose your TTF. Save the dynamic font under the name you want, optional. Six, you can now use the dynamic font where you want, change its size, spacing, etc., without altering the original font. Okay, so all that stuff, you know, blah, blah. Uh, really quickly about fonts, this is what I'm using. I'll put a link to, because like when you use um, Godot 3, you need to have like a SIL font or a open source font. And the font library has MIT licensed open source SIL fonts, which means you can just distribute them with your game. You're not violating any like, you know, licenses, so forth and so on that you have from a lot of other sites like free font. Okay, now for the nitty gritty. Yes, I copied my font and I literally dragged it into the file folder of my project. Bam, it came right here. And after I did that, actually maybe we should show all that. All right, effing around, that's what I called it, right? So I dropped in the TTF file literally into the documents. Go to three, effing around and bam, bada bing, it's right here. Now I clicked on it. I did, like double clicked on it, whatever. I then clicked on dynamic font. Did I do that? Oh, I did collect, you know, create. I created a dynamic font, I hit create. Once I hit the create button, then bada bing, bada boom, it was there, but it didn't do anything because it didn't change the label. I also gave it a name, VAG. That is, <laughs> I'm just saying VAG, okay? And there, it's fine. Now the thing about this is it looks kind of blurry. That's gonna be okay, because when you hit the like button to play or whatever the heck, it's fine, it's clear. This is just like a preview, as weird as that may seem. All right, okay, so we got that. Also, I'll make it a little bigger. Let me mess with this. Well, I'll show you how to import it really quickly. Now the thing is named, you go into text, you look under fonts, you go to custom fonts, you, you forget null, you go to load, I think it's load. You say, no, it's not load, because you can't, you son of a gun. This is why this is confusing. That's why I'm doing. I'm doing this video for myself, really, to remind myself tomorrow. New dynamic font. Oh my God! Why do you need new dynamic font? Resources. I don't know if I can do it twice. I'll try. Load. There you are. Aha! Why is it so tiny? Oh yeah, you got to go up here into settings because it starts it at zero. I'm gonna go like 54. Wow, it's huge. Why is it so big? That's cool. It automatically changes the size. All right. Okay. All right. Let's change this one then too. Go up to fonts. Now I can mess with styles more. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, 54. I can change colors now too, which is really cool. I'm loving Godot so far. Um, let me change colors. I don't want this video to be too long, uh, but I do want to change colors really quickly. Should I make it red? I don't know. Hit the back button here. Back button. Back button. I don't know. Fall back. Font data. Not sure. Back one more. All right. Here we go. We'll go to custom styles, custom colors. Oh, uh, font color. Black. Blue, maybe? Right. Let's see. Is that okay? Can I go? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Off. All right. Okay. 255. See if it does anything. It does nothing. It says nope. I thought I would. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so. Oh, yes, there we go. Hello, Dave. All right, there we go. Press me hard. All right, and then. Sure, I don't want to go too far. All right, now let's go pr press play. Oh, another thing too. 
uh, make this the main scene. So I just I cheated. I deleted. I don't know how to make the thing the main scene. I'll have to figure that out as I go. I'm just excited this worked. Okay, let's see if it plays. Press me hard, Dave. Are you the player, Dave? Are you the player? All right, there we go. I'm excited about that. I want to take a look at what the script looks like. Here it is. But again, it's totally just borrowed from da -da -da -da, scripting. And I'm literally starting the tutorials from the very, very beginning. So I've got the GD script one, the GD script, GD quest, game developer quest. I was a patron, so I, I got all the files for that. I'm still studying that, which is much more in depth, but I just need to get through the basics. Ooh, scary, scary, scary. There you go. All right, I'll put the links below. I don't know if this is a title pending, but this is definitely a devlog. I hope you had some fun watching this. I was thinking about putting music. Who knows? How long is this? Six minutes? Fantastic. All right, catch you on the other side. Sort of catchy phrase. There you go.